Hi everybody, I'm Catalina Dobas, product owner of Sonamp's Thermino range of heat batteries for hot water. I'm here today to share results of our exciting research into the effects of pairing a Thermino E plus heat battery purely powered by solar PV with a combi boiler. This project was a team effort with Edinburgh Napier University, Worcester Bosch and Okana Global. Looking at how using a Sunamp heat battery as a combi boiler preheat could improve home hot water systems. So why is this research important? Over half of the UK's energy goes just to heating applications, mostly from fossil fuel sources. But if we're using heat, why are we storing energy as electricity? It makes way more sense to store it as heat in the first place if we're talking efficiency. Just heating water accounts for nearly a fifth of all the heat used in homes. And that's precisely why thermal energy storage technologies are becoming increasingly important and why Sunamp's heat batteries are a game changer. It's a smarter, more efficient way to cut carbon and make the most of renewables. Our patented plenty grade phase change material is four times more energy dense than water, meaning that we can pack serious heat storage into a much more compact product design. We've completely remodeled this. As part of that retrofit process, um, we've tried to reduce the energy consumption of the house considerably. First and foremost, through fabric interventions. So any of the extension work that we've done, we've used a high level of fabric to, to reduce operational performance with regards to heating. With regards to renewable options, we've integrated solar PV. So there's a two and a half kilowatt photovoltaic uh, panel array on the, on the roof. We obviously had an existing combi boiler system. And we didn't want to simply get rid of that. And the, the Thermino offered a, a great solution because it, we could make it compatible with that existing system. But equally, the space that it takes up meant that it could be you know, introduced without, uh, you know, using up too much floor area. So it, it provided an opportunity in that, that respect. And ultimately, uh, as, as a family trying to reduce what, we are, what we're doing from a carbon footprint perspective, we wanted to, to use it for, for hot water solutions, which we obviously saw as a great opportunity with a growing family, because as they get older, they're going to use more hot water. Thermino installation is very easy due to the, the flexible nature of having the rotatable Tektite fittings inside the unit. You can have a left entry and a right exit, or you have a, a rear entry and a left exit, for example. Here is our setup. We have our Thermino 210E+, Plus, which is our uh, direct equivalent to our 210 litre cylinder. Um, as you can see, it's much more compact in size. That's thanks to the plenty grade material that's inside, which is four times more energy dense than water hence why we can make the heat batteries much more compact than its comparable cylinder. This unit is essentially a thermal store uh, unit, so cold water comes in and hot water comes out, exchanging its heat with the phase change material via means of a heat exchanger. Here we also have a thermostatic mixing valve which meets UK building regs, which is an anti-scald device primarily, but you can also use it to increase your capacity to just under 300 litres with this particular unit. Next we have a Wooster Bosch Life 8000 combi boiler which allows a hot water preheat via the preheat kit which is supplied from Wooster themselves. That's something to bear in mind when you're carrying out an installation like this to make sure that the boiler manufacturer can allow a, a hot water preheat. With this type of installation the, the boiler set point should closely match the TMV set point, thermostatic mixing valve set point so as to ensure you use the full capacity of the battery uh, once that's fully depleted then the boiler will take over as the main heat source for hot water. And finally we have the My Energy Eddy which is essentially a solar powered diverter so that captures any excess PV which is going to go to grid and diverts it into our heat battery here. of this setup. We essentially put temperature sensors on the inlets and outlets of both the heat battery and the combi boiler. 
That is what led us to track when hot water was being used and to monitor the activity of the boiler when it turned on and when it turned off, especially when the heat battery had already preheated the water for the combi boiler. We also monitored how much excess solar energy was being sent to the heat battery every day. And over a three month period, we recorded a total of 303 hot water events. We found that the heat battery preheated the water for 109 of them, enough to meet the household demand without the boiler needing to kick in at all. This means that 36% of the hot water was completely heated for free, purely using stored solar power. What did we find? When the Sunamp heat battery is preheating the water to the combi boiler, the boiler's energy use drops from 4.2 kilowatt hours a day to just 0.47 kilowatt hours a day. Now that's a big drop and it brings some clear benefits. Firstly, for the environment, using solar charged preheating cuts the boiler's carbon emissions by up to 86% since it avoids burning gas. Secondly, for your wallet, it saves about 25 pence a day and that adds up to around 91 pounds a year reduction in your total annual energy bills. And lastly, it's a net zero transition for the homeowner at their own pace. Now these results show just how effective Sunamp heat batteries can actually be, especially when paired with solar panels. They help cut energy bills, lower carbon emissions and make homes more comfortable. And because they can be retrofitted and mostly form a passive component in your overall setup, they're easy to install and use with minimal disruption to you, the homeowner. So to get the best results, installers need to remember to set system temperatures correctly for maximizing efficiency, use proper pipe insulation and U-bent pipe works to cut down heat losses and keep them to a minimum, and make sure that the solar panels are placed where they'll capture the most sun. I would certainly recommend it as, as a technology. I think the key benefit for us as being a responsible family is the fact that we're helping to reduce our carbon footprint and our, our energy bills at, at, at the same time as creating increased levels of reliability in terms of how we have access to hot water, which is important.